Nuclear Submarines by Sam Landis, Ryder Kell, and Grant Allred. The idea for a nuclear-powered submarine was first created in a naval research laboratory by Ross Gunn in 1939. The unique thing about nuclear submarines is for generations, these submarines have never had to refuel throughout their 25-year lifespans, for they can stay out at sea forever, only need to come back to shore to get food. Many people believe that a nuclear submarine means only that it's a normal-powered submarine and has nuclear weapons on them in order for war times only. But the reason a nuclear submarine is considered nuclear is the reason on how it's powered and how to crank the motor in order for the submarine to move. Before we explain to you on how nuclear reactors work inside of a submarine, here's some background on the topic. About a hundred years ago, Albert Einstein created the equation E equals mc squared, E standing for energy, m for mass, and c as a constant speed of light, or 3 times 10 to the 8th. What this formula pretty much means is there's a continuum between matter and energy saying that they're interchangeable. Energy can transform into matter, and matter can be transformed into energy. Later in the year, scientists began to figure out that this E equals MC squared equation can be used for more than just creating atomic bombs. As they developed the equation, they figured out that it can be used for creating energy out of nuclear fission and powering large transportation units like nuclear submarines. Like using the nuclear submarine, nuclear fission is an induced reaction. What happens is the element uranium-235 is turned briefly into an excited uranium-236 with the adding of a neutron. This creates a, creates a chain reaction of energy leading to two separate elements and further that the elements keep splitting apart creating more energy as following the equation E equals mc squared. Now back to the nuclear submarine. A nuclear reactor is a device to initiate and control a sustained nuclear reaction. The most common use of a nuclear reactor is for the generation of electrical energy. What happens is there is a container of water that uranium-235 is released into, and when a neutron is added, the uranium atom splits up and soon creates energy following the equation E equals mc squared and heats up the water. Steam is then rise into the top of the container by the form of evaporation and is passed through a series of a series of tubes all the way to the turbine and when the steam reaches the turbine it turns the motor creating the submarine to move the unique thing about these nuclear reactors is they are self-contained it does not take up much room and the reason they last so long is that once the water turns into steam and passes through a generator, it is followed through a ceiling of cooling systems that is passed back to the original container holding the water with the uranium-235 and is a continuous cycle of the heating of the water so the boat could almost last forever.